Let's dive back in dis uh, to Disco Elysium because I'm going to need some time to figure out what the hell I was doing. Um, so why don't we do... We jump right in. Look at that. It sits so perfectly uh, right over my... Uh, right over the picture there. Are you ready for a jump scare? Ooh. Oh, wait. No, I got to turn this off too. Ah! <laughs> it's just me. Okay. Uh, what were we, we right? We were going to look for the, the zoology, the cryptozoologists because his wife said that he went missing. All right. I might adjust the cropping a little bit. I can just turn the camera down, I guess. There we go. Perfect. I think that'll work. Okay. So that was the last thing we did before finishing up on Friday. Let's take a look at our tasks here. So Kim has gone. Kim has gone to take the body into the station. Uh, we did not get a chance to analyze it further, or we at least couldn't see what the issue was. And yeah, we got to find the cryptozoologist, which I think we can't get over there until Wednesday. So. We'll put that on the back burner for now. Open apartment doors. Yeah, we don't want to intimidate. I don't want to do. I don't want to do whatever it wants me to do. Not his lap dog. Move your authority to Titus Hardy. Okay, we could talk to Titus again. Although without Kim here. Probably going to be a little tougher not having backup. Yeah, that's going to happen on Wednesday. The little girl in the fishing village down the coast. I think that's also something we can't do until Wednesday. The lost bull. Similar looking metal sphere. Did not find any similar metal spheres. Yet. Um, I could pay Gart. I have money. I've got, uh, I've got 30, I've got 30 real. I need 20. Hey. Look at this. I help you? Got the 20 real? Here you go. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another 20 real tomorrow. Uh-huh. How could anyone forget, asshole? Okay. We took care of that. Let's keep looking at our to-do list. We still don't know who called in the body. We need a key for the blue door. I did look into the borscht, but apparently there's more to it than that. We got Kuno's speed. Yes, I think we can get to know each other, but first I think you should Gertz. know that I'm a... <laughs> hey, my man. What it look like? Hey, my man. What it look like? That's the last dragon reference. Watch it. Last Dragon. We'll look into it. Thank you very much, Gurgs, for the 32 months. We can go give Kuno some speed. <clears throat> yeah, this is after 9 p.m., I think. And then I need to find my gun. But I think it was Everett knows something. Right? I think it was Everett that knows something. <clears throat> All right. The man ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod, acknowledging your presence. I have to decide if I want him to put more alcohol in the borscht or less. The man says a couple of sentences in that straight. Mm. Vodka borscht! Turning it up seems like a dangerous idea. The cook gives there we go. you a long, disappointed look, then turns the stove off and seems to wait for you to speak. Poor guys aren't going to get any more vodka. He looks up at you, then looks away quickly, shrugging and muttering something to himself. Shrugging is an international sign for... No okay, he still doesn't know what's behind the door. Behind the dock workers, a ceiling height window. The hawthorn branches scrape the glass like bony fingers. The men are talking, 
but you swear you hear those black limbs tap on the window as the wind blows outside. It's not time yet? What the hell does that mean? I mean, I can retry it, but... This is a check just to look out the window. Okay. Why don't we talk to Titus? We're here. Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. <clears throat> Where's the 8th Hardy Boy? What are you talking about, Madman? There's no 8th Hardy Boy. There's seven of us and we're all here. Why are you lying to me, man? Or what? You want to be the 8th Hardy Boy? We ain't hiring. Actually, boss, we've been talking and we think she could maybe... This person Glenn wants to hire, he really respects her. Shut the fuck up, Glenn! I do the talking. Shut the fuck up, dog, you fucking Shut skunk! Fuck you want, cop. Sorry, boss. Yeah, still don't have any... Still definitely not establishing any authority. Again. Anything about the hanging? <laughs> Good one, Titus. Yeah, we're not gonna. About not gonna threaten time. him. Okay. Well, we mentioned the eighth Hardy Boy anyway. I've got nothing to say to you. Why are you wasting your time? Hmm. Okay, it'll at least be nice to have the body gone. Without Kim here to judge us, we could give Kuno some drugs. That might be a good idea. No purpose in life. What is he gonna throw rocks at now? Okay. Right. Took care of the drugs. So got Kuno's kilo. Here is how we do it. First, give Kuno Kuno's kilo. Then Kuno gives you half back. Took like the one thing he had That's going. Well, why don't we give him it. back a little it's something? The best way. Street way. Fair is fair. That's heavy. A minuscule bottle around. There you go. More than half in there. Kuno's fucking honorable like that. Now tell me, how did he even fuck take any? Still alive, pig? Slips it into his coat pocket. Out comes another similar vial. Oh, I see. I see. He already had some. Not the easy life that you've got going on. The fuck do you know about Kuno's life? Kuno's got plans. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we got plans. Six meters underground, below piping from before the war, the collapsed remains of the Martinez storm drain system. There are two stolen flashlights with piles of batteries next to them, beside two bedrolls in the dark and opening into the lower tunnels. Are they sleeping down there? I mean so. <clears throat> that sounds like a really bad idea. Going into the collapsed remains of the storm drain system. You love Kuno as a character? I mean, I do too, but like, oh god, he's so annoying. <laughs> um, I met yeah, your dad. You do some sambo shit, sneak in. Was the Vino Cloud hooker thing real? Sambo is an acronym for Samaran boxing, graceful martial arts stuff. Sambo style 
implies stealth, cleverness, and cool. Just letting you know. Sneaked in and got out. Lucky. Kuno's dad was out getting more drinks. Kuno knew that. That's why he sent you. Kuno cares about his pig. Doesn't want his pig to get hurt. All right, let's yeah, end it. Pig, this shit is done. Now get the fuck out of Kuno's face. Kuno needs to drop the bomb. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Does not fucking care. <clears throat> Better than up here. Well, nothing's gonna cave in on his face up here. Well, except maybe his dad, but... Yeah, that's fair. I have three skill points. I'm still I'm I'm walking around with the damn bolt cutters in my hand. <clears throat> no, I think you need to put it in your right hand. If I remember right. I think I tried putting it in my left hand and it didn't work. I want to talk to the boat lady. I'm a little fuzzy on her uh involvement and in all this. I forget her role. Dual-wheeled boat You're bolt back. cutters. Good. What can I help you with? My power stance. It. Um. What do you what do? We do. I'm afraid I okay. What do they do? Core competency is logistics. So the freight company is. And that okay. Is the terminal. Another subdivision. I'm they got a lot of money. Eight billion. So she's interested in just the work getting done. Morning, Ducky. How you doing? Morbin time. Twenty bill a conglomerate yep, yep. the size of the wild pines is you mean aside from being the terminal's legal owners who are responsible for moving eight percent of the world's car. She okay. Knows. Gotcha. So she's not really on one side or the other, she just wants the conflict over. Well, maybe she personally has a stance, but whatever. It's down here. Money. Okay. I'm just going to leave money on the side of the street like that. I said Mormon time. Full glass of ice cold water first thing in the morning. I did. I woke up a couple times last night and had to chug water. I keep forgetting to refill our uh, little humidifier before going to bed. So then I wake up and it's just. You know. Speaking of which. Got some right here. Reminder to stay hydrated. What if I just threw another ball in the ocean? The dented yellow mailbox greets you. There's the bookstore, there's the down the road. If any of the drivers have anything else to talk about. All right, and this thing's out of commission until Wednesday. This is the pawn shop, I think.
I think the tip just told me how to get Kim back. The loading screens are too fast. And I couldn't read it. I think it said, uh... Got a couple reminders that you can pass time by, like, reading or, uh... Oh, found some smokes. Um, I think you can read or just sit at a bench. An old monument stands in the middle. Mm-hmm. Not a tank top. The woman still has her eyes fixed on the photograph in her hands. In the background, the radio plays. No response. Wherever the. Mm. No idea who she is. Let's have a quick chat with the racist. One of the racists. Looking for something odd? You could push him by asking him to show you the soles of his boots. He definitely looks like someone. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Me and my eyes are stompers, aren't? For sure. I... On the bottom of the man's boots, you see an intricate tangle of treads with no immediately discernible pattern. The wind howls over the Bay of Rivershaw, a cascade of cold air flowing through the city streets those same streets have left their share of scuff marks on the underside of your green snake skin shoes what's up with your souls did you get books like that paid. cost me a pretty penny you'll see when the time comes officer True patriots carry revachol in their very souls. All right, here now. Morning, Ron. This guy could carry a body. On the chief, huh? <clears throat> Those ballerina antics were reckless. Should have just punched him in the throat again. Kill who, Kim? Now oh, Kim's just uh, taking the body to the station. The ballerina antics won you the fight. Let's talk about our right to work. Okay. How'd you like our harbor? Uh, labor you utopia. A rest area on the path leading <laughs> across open plains. It's funny. Rest area on the path leading across open plains. Okay. Right. You talk to the boss eye to eye, like men of the plain. If you have any more questions, I'm set to talk. Um, said you have a key. a key, huh? What door is this key supposed to open? It's hoping you could of tell course. me. I got you. You don't know anything. I got that key right here. And let me tell you, it's mighty good of you to help us out during the strike. Working class solidarity, as they say. I'm a hustle grinder. Um. And I don't want to do it at all, but. All 
All right, all working men. I knew this man was a commie. And it's a good thing you're doing too. Thanks. What you're looking for See, is I feel like I would do it for Manana. Manana seems cool. That's behind the whirling and rag. That's all I know. Our organization is what Basement you call door behind the greenhouse. Means we keep out of each other's business. Where'd you the get the key? Gave it to me. Nice fella. We talked about life and things that really, truly matter. None of this mess we're in. This jiving and juggling. What's it for? To feed our children, I guess. Anything else I I'm should more know? I'm a philosophical dock worker. I like to talk about the big picture stuff. Who I am, who you are, what we are fighting for. Who he is and what they're fighting for. This is interesting. Ask him about the Hardy Boys. You know anything Those about the Hardy Boys? They're an independent militant group. A bit too high strung, but it comes with the responsibility. They're sort of like you. Preserve the rule of law and all that. Except it's Ebrard's law. But really, they're just like you. Is he actually comparing you, an officer of the law, to some neighborhood vigilantes? Let it go. The man whispers a jaunty tune. A coastal breeze ruffles his hair. Why are you striking? We're negotiating our share. Hi. Hang on. It's okay, buddy. Just moving you a little bit. I didn't move the cat. He was going to fall off. This stuff. They already covered. Uh, at least you get the benefits. Enough. Not enough to get ahead. More about right, keeping us in our place. A larger share. However, right now we want all the harbor workers to be on the company's board, so they could take part in the decision-making process. Tell me about Everard. I think it's best you make up your own mind now that you've met him. In my eyes, he is a capable organizer and a decent businessman. Okay. I guess you kind of get to be the village chief. He oversees the harbor, makes deals with the owners or other relevant parties, watches out for his own. By heavens, why would he not be corrupt? We live in a harsh and disordered world, see? And in this world, the old man is corrupt for our benefit, and we know it, appreciate it even. He is, personally, not too lavish. Of course not, his office is in a shipping container. Well, yeah, his desk, like the inside of it. He is reasonably lavish, sure. That's his prerogative. It's not like you want a saintly demeanor on a corrupt motherfucker. That would be a manipulative illusion. Besides, there are no non-corrupt systems in the world anyway. And moralism is the most corrupt of them all. Not you, you would like to say. But then, there's that weasel dog. Okay. Sure thing. Icy with water on top. It is currently, uh, or at least it was like an hour ago, it was raining here. Um, it was rainy and windy. To hear it from my bed. What is this? News of the world. Talk about personal stuff. Get to know him. I don't even know your Call name. Me I'm just a humble harbor worker for the past six, seven years. Not a given name for certain. It's a taken name. The kind for artists or criminals or revolutionaries and the sort. An alias. A nom de guerre. It's a sweet ass name. A name worthy of the man who holds his friend. Names are important. We had any Friends other names? Don't get greedy and try to swipe mine, though. You got your own. Not a given I'd name, I take it. name is what most people call you. Now that we are getting so well acquainted, what's your name? Be honest with him. All right, I lost wow, it. Wow, this is major. You're like a man born anew. Okay, so if you can't find it, maybe make up a new one. Uh.
I did try that. that. Can't live in this world without a good name, friend. Important things they are. Vessels of the soul. More a poetic thing. Any attempt to formulate a grand unified theory about it ends in the stupidest shit imaginable. Doesn't make it less true, though. That means mm. I can't tell you about it. I can only show you. You may understand in time. Or not. But it might be easy enough. Interesting. Words guide our life. We commune with each thing through its word. Every word is also a name, is it not? The man whispers a jaunty tune. A coastal breeze ruffles his hair. Can't escape Pisto. It's a white check, though. I'm curious what the rain is going to do to our driveway because it still has. Oh, like an inch of like snowy ice on it that we never dealt with. Hoping it helps it melt, but. All right, let's give this a shot. The encroaching nice. doom is golden red. It is inside you, but also outside, on the horizon, by the water's edge. In a most but yet to happen. Things make sense from that angle. Your tequila sunset. You have been tequila sunset for a long tequila time. Tequila sunset. That's... I don't like it. I believe that's also like, uh... I believe the tequila sunset is also a, a, a cocktail. I know tequila sunrise is, but I think a tequila sunset is a riff on that. What? This is just a tequila sunrise with a different name. The hell's the difference? Whatever. Uh. I like, I don't, hmm. I don't want to be What's tequila sunset. It's got range, meaning, layers, colors, associations, the whole works. Doesn't feel too dangerous. All right, I'll just, I'll stick with Boyadero. it. You see his eyes turn teary with appreciation. He is extremely happy for you. All right, we'll shake his hand. You receive a good, strong handshake in return. What's a boyadero? A really cool guy. Tequila, grapefruit juice, and triple sec? It's kind of like a Paloma. Okay. You can get behind it. <clears throat> there was a... Uh, Boy, there was a really cool it feels guy. Like there's an entire yeah. history behind the word, but it doesn't really matter. You got it. You know what it means. I went shopping um, a couple years ago, and there's uh, at this store. It's like a grocery store, and then there's like the liquor section off in a different spot. Um, and I was looking through the beer, and there was a uh, by. Uh, I think by the tequila or something. There was a. Um, a recipe from Polliner. It's a German brewery. I think German. Um, and they make a uh, um, a Radler. A Rodler, probably the right pronunciation. But it's like the part beer, part grapefruit juice mix. Yeah. Um, and they had a there was like a ad like advertising material that had a recipe for the Paloma, not Paloma, but Paul because Polliner. Um, and it was. Uh, like a Paloma, but using the Rattler instead of uh, uh, grapefruit sh uh, soda. So it was like tequila, lime juice. Um, and then you like top it with the. I think there there might have been more, but it sounded so good that I had to go get the. I had to go buy some of it so that I could make it at home, and it was really really good. We drank those all summer. Brits have the shandy. We're kind of a cool guy. Exactly so. And I have these thoughts, and I haven't really been the doing anything with them because I, I don't like the idea. Feels um, I'll pass. Then we might go out together, which sounds fun. But I guess I have a strike to watch. So, 
Anything else you wanted to discuss, Boyadero? Like, I, w I want to... I, I want to get more. Oh, how do I unlock these? Oh, you can spend skill points to get these. Dang. I didn't realize that was an option. All right. Yeah. All right. What are we internalizing here? Finger pistols. Six and a half hours? Oh my god. Kind of, mm. I don't want this one. Narragansett. I think that they... I think I found some Narragansett in... Uh, Wisconsin. I think they, they uh, distribute here now. Man, these take so long. All right, I do want this one. Let's internalize that. All right, who killed the it's hanged man, yeah. man? Who could have killed him? That's indeed the question. Why even do such a thing? Harbor's a prime area what of suspicion. Thought. Why would noble workers resort to such a thing? Unless they were pushed, of course. Shandy makes your stomach angry. Your dead guy was an enemy combatant. Enemy combatant, was an agent huh? of the opposition, attempting to undermine our honorable efforts. Did you kill him? I ain't the murdering type, but that's just me. Large organizations like our union have all sorts of men with all sorts of schemes. He means a more violent faction. I was just checking how close I was to another level up. Thing. Thank no you. Problem. I wish the best to you in your search. Sure, I'm glad it's not my search. I like Minyana. Minyana seems like a nice guy. Just had a really close call when my uh, coffee cup was more full than I thought it was when I went to take a sip. And I almost spilled a lot of it. Your race descent has temporarily halted, but you will. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> a giant ass print on the pillow, huh? Habitually chilling next to the radio. Line and Google change. I don't understand what the deal with. I I really dislike Line and Googles. Um, they're even local. Well, I mean, at least they were when they started, right? I think they're from Chippewa Falls, but they're owned by Miller Coors now. I think I don't remember if it's Miller Coors or AB and Bev, but somebody owns them and their beer is shit. I remember I got the Berry Vice once, and that that shit tastes like straight up fruity pebbles. And like not in a good way, just like artificial sweet garbage. These lambics taste like the fruit. Yeah, yeah. The already familiar cold touch of plastic welcomes you as you pick up the handset. Okay. Lindemans. Enjoy Lindemans from time to time. The file cabinet stands steady as ever. Slide in the drawer. Uh -huh. 
Right, right, right. That's the, uh... It's the night watchman's booth. Nobody was working the night of the murder. Of course. How we doing? We're doing good. We gave drugs to Kuno. Uh, he seemed to appreciate the drugs. Talked to Minyana for a little bit. That's been the main developments. Got a new name, Tequila Sunset. Found some cigarettes. Visual calculus and minus one drama, huh? How is there an, an unsavory odor from the white satin shirt, but not from the uh, white tank top here? Look at that thing. It looks filthy. Fucking Kuno. Kuno doesn't care. The tank top is masculine. Found its way into my nose as it does. Container, container. Do you have anything new to say? Oh, hey, mister. I nearly be back to talk with old Leo here. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I like Despite Leo Lady too. Larice said when she opened a bathhouse in the basement of my apartment building, they could only get so far before they're aching to get back. And lots of folk really did keep coming back. we keep this greeting shorter i had some questions no trouble at all thankfully when i do get bloody noses they tend to be uh they, they tend to disappear the as soon as they as suddenly as they show up i guess yeah because i itched because there was a cat hair or something loosened something i guess but by the time i got upstairs it was like not bleeding anymore. I think I got the bloody nose gene from my dad. Who, although I don't get, I don't get them as often as he does. But in the winter, every so often, I'll get one. But they never last long. My dad, though, they went to a concert recently and had a bloody nose that lasted for like three hours. They just show up late they went to the ER. Let's talk to Everard again. Mr. Dubois, a pleasure as always. You don't have to sit down this time, since you've already sat on that chair. All right. I met Joyce. Oh, that's very nice. I haven't gotten around to her yet. I'm very, very busy, you see. I hope you're getting along. getting along so One good. One thing I want to make very clear, Harry, is that this is not some kind of union versus corporation The nosebleed seats. Everyone is just pals here. We're all trying to do what's best for Martinez. Don't feel like you can't cooperate with her because you and I are such good friends and I helped you get that nasty body down from the tree. I'm not a jealous guy. Whoa. That's so nice of him. Suspiciously this guy reminds me, I used to, I worked for a contractor straight out of college. This guy reminds me of like every higher up in that company. Every company man that worked there. So the previous union leader vanished under suspicious circumstances. Vanished? Harry, the woman left her casserole in the oven and couldn't make it here in time for the voting. Oh, did I leave my casserole on? Better go home and check. The election can wait. When she got back, the whole thing was over. Is 
think I can hear Miso getting into trouble upstairs. <clears throat> you know what's gonna happen now? Like, I inspected myself, right? Like, oh, no, no blood dripped anywhere. Like, I'm, I'm, that could have been worse. I'm fine. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna go to work now, and then I'm gonna find one really obvious, large, like, blood spot on my pants or something. That somehow I missed. Ah. <sighs> I think he's lying to me. Uh, why haven't you let her if in to see you? If she actually wants to see me, she will find a way. Any good negotiator would. And I just don't have anything to discuss with a bad negotiator. Oh, he thinks I'm a good negotiator. He doesn't want to see her. It's as simple as that. Okay. Of course, Harry. I have no interest in what she is doing. But I myself have nothing to hide. Your business is your business, and I respect your privacy. Just remember, none of this is secret. Tell her about all of it. My brother's picture, my singing swordfish clock. Tell her how overweight I am and how I'm helping you find your lost <clears throat> gun. You aren't helping me find shit, Tell dude. Tell her about everything. Everett doesn't mind. I think maybe, maybe he thinks that if I tell her, she won't want to see this him anymore. This is weird. Not nice weird, but okay. Stop the alcoholic brew. I don't know what that means, <clears throat> Harry, but I love it. <laughs> I love your initiative. Knowing you're out there keeping things running lets me focus on the big picture. Everard doesn't fucking care. Don't even tell me what was going on. Alcoholic brew, stronger, stopped it. Strike! I'm just gonna let you surprise me, Harry. Lost yes, gun. Your lost <clears throat> gun. My best men are on it. They're turning every stone, searching every playground, asking kids, grandmas, everyone. Your gun will be found, Harry. Let me assure you of that. It's just a matter of time and effort. The only way to find it seems to be working with him. He might even be holding your gun hostage. Okay, this cat is doing something. I gotta find out what he's doing. He's making noise and making me nervous. Could he really be holding my gun hostage? I mean, I think he only has one it. One thing is certain. If you work with him, you're going to get it back. And working with him might be the only way to do it. Miso, stop it. God. <clears throat> Damn it, Harry. That's exactly what it means. Would you call me Mr. Of Dubois? Course. Let us dispatch with the formalities. You call me Everard, I call you Harry. That's what the hanged corpse called you. Harry. My god, so it's true. I didn't want to believe it, but you are a fantastic science fiction amnesiac cop, aren't you? What are the odds of that? I'm just testing you. So good to hear that. Sure he's gonna Harry. buy it. Apparently my sources were wrong. However, if you did have <clears> a spot of memory trouble, I could help you out with my big fat folder. It's just the brown folder. You can't make out what's written on it. You must have questions, Harry. Come on now. Don't be shy. Let's hear them. Asking too many questions will make you look weak. You should maybe focus on the folder. Um, other of matters. Of course, Harry, of course. Let's not linger on personal details and amnesia. You wanted something from me. 
Um. See you soon, Debarger. Let's get out of here. I'm sick of talking to Everard. What the hell is this cat doing? I can hear him making noises in the background. And I cannot figure out where he is or what he's interacting with that's making these noises. Makes me nervous. Troubling cat-like behavior? Yeah, yeah. A rusting control panel with several knobs. Two buttons marked Mush and Alit are fake. I can't press these without Kim. I know Kim. I can tell Kim really likes the crane. Above. A container is attached to its hook block. Okay. Oh my god, is it a noise in game? It might be a noise in the game. Cat's not even doing anything. I'm just psyching myself out. <laughs> ah, well. <sighs> Lies and slander. Yeah, shouldn't shouldn't have uh, blamed the cat. This staircase is like just just going down this staircase smoothly. It's like one of the hardest tricks in video games. <clears throat> Let's go to the, do I have any tear to? The tear machine. Your bottles clunk. Look at that. We got 40 machine. cents. Awesome. I'm rich. Six more dollars and I can stay at that hotel another night. I don't think there's a whole lot left to do. We might just have to wait for Kim to get back. Still here. Stuck in this damn jam. I guess I could, I could go to the door and What's unlock up? it. It's like, whatever's going on, anything else. Us lorry drive, not my uh, thing. Uh -huh. What's better than chasing transient pleasures? He tries his best to look nonchalant. Uh, okay, apparently we did something new. Him, as if trying to conceal something warm and deep beneath a cool exterior. All right, let's go back to the beginning. What was going on at the docks, making demands, anything else I should know? I was just trying to get out of the conversation. Just do my job and I get paid. Okay. Okay. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off to get drunk or high or laid. Not that I blame them. Not you. Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined night life now. Yeah, we've talked about that. Okay, so that was we've we've been through that whole series. What do you see in his eyes? Ease into Fuck. it. Don't go too far. This seems like a personal matter. Spill the beans. Man, nothing's troubling me. Just the usual lorman tropes and hopes. The road and the rhymes. This jam ain't helping either. That all the beans you got, Tommy. Damn. It really is hard to talk. Man to man. I've got skill points. I could put another one in empathy. Sure, why not? Let's do that. Except I have to get, I have to back out first. Still here, stuck in this damn jam, I'm in. In his eyes, an half familiar longing, flecks of brown and gold. How is it familiar? It's hard to say. His gaze wanders southwest, down the street that goes beyond the horizon. 
The road continues for miles, flowing together with other roads, turning into causeways or bridges, ending suddenly in dead ends, or ramping up or down highways. It forms a crisscross pattern across the land. Where's the lead? the Jamrock Quarter, in the form of a raised motorway, and then the never-ending sprawl of Forberg, high above buildings, new and old, the air filled with the rumble of motor engines. Further? To the old, old <clears throat> self, to the farthest outskirts of Revachon, through the checkered fields of farmland, upstream to the river Esperance, past Mont Martin, the border approaches. What's beyond the border? You cannot see. It's out of the city. Up ahead, the mist blocks all sight. A gale blows across your cheeks. It is cold. Before you stands a tall lorry driver with sad eyes. Ah, uh, the southwest. A flinch jolts his frame. The question has touched a nerve. I get longing. Man, I don't know what to say. Not much anyone can do. There's no helping in absence, you know. I miss my family. Aww. They're all I have. My wife, second kid on the way, waiting all the way in Diora. And here I am stuck in this shit, so far from home. Diora? Diora of the Seven Seas. It's on the other end of Le Caillou, pretty much. On another island called Laurentide, off mainland. We've got a little place there. Can almost hear my kid laugh when it snows. Aw, poor Tommy. What's it like? Good. And bad. An ache that brings you joy. I think of them a lot. I dream up these silly scenarios in great detail of living with them. It comforts me. <sighs> what about you, cop man? You missing someone? Is that what it is? This feeling? No, it's scarier than that. You're pursued by a hunter, smelling of apricots and sorrow, and the past. <clears throat> I miss someone, but I don't know who it is. I feel for you, my friend. It's bad enough to know who you miss. Missing like that doesn't feel like it has much of an upside. But, thanks for this. It's nice to talk to someone, and I know it wasn't easy to ask. I hope you find your way through your own troubles. The Holland. Oh, high grade narcotics. Time to arrest him. Can't even get a few jokes past you, my man. I've got another haul of foul cargo. Mostly sporting goods, tracksuits, and that kind of thing. They usually get shipped to Grad and the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. The man. Taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Okay. <clears throat> Keep moving. Behind the green house. Okay, I know where that is. Yeah, I should do that. this you're new is it a good one yes hello me no one i'm just a working class woman she doesn't really want to be disturbed that much what are you doing looking for something to read good it good is. i'm a I policeman you do you need the help Please. of a policeman uh, maybe your husband My is husband. missing. No, he's not. So where could he I be? I don't know. At home now, out drinking with his friends, working. So you don't really know yes, where your husband is. I don't really need to know where my husband is. Not all the time. Hmm. Wouldn't you like to? No. <laughs> I 
can totally help you find your missing husband. Why are we still talking about this? I haven't lost my husband. She has, though. The husband is totally lost. You should tell her that it's okay. It's okay. What? It's all right to not know. Who said anything about Shane? Stop talking down to me. My husband is not missing. Also, I just noted, like, the name of the store. Is, is that the name of the store on the sign? Or is that maybe just a description? But crime romances and biographies of famous people. Such a weird summary of a bookstore. But he is. Mm. You can feel it. Or maybe it's something else, then. I feel like it, you, uh, accusing her of having missing children might piss her off. Maybe your children are missing. No, absolutely not. Where are they? Are you a policeman or a nanny? Where are they? they? Are not missing, sir. You yes, know where they are. Other, but first, I think you should They're know that I'm. Given the matter of vices, a chance. Hank Sip. Prez Kane. Yo, thank you very much for the 20 months. Thank you so much. Hope you had a good weekend. What if something horrible has happened? What if they're dead? Jesus. That's the bad vibe you got before. What's going on with the Inland Empire right now? Hmm. All right, we won't continue on the... Maybe we will. They're smoking what? cigarettes. That's just... My daughters are perfectly fine. They're with their friends. It's always trippy. I'm in Jamrock. There's nothing to worry about. She's getting upset. Her voice has risen as she tries to convince herself that her daughters are safe. They're almost grown up now anyway. They're past the age they need me protecting them from everything now. How old are they? My youngest girl, Jolie, is just shy of 16. Jenny, she is turning 18 next month. But we shouldn't even be talking about them. <laughs> Can you describe it? Uh, their appearance? Why do you need to know this? Haven't I repeatedly told you <laughs> that they're not missing? That they're in Jamrock, safe and well, at some stupid party. Did someone say party? You could use a party. Hunt it down. I'm trying to be professional. There is no investigation here. I can tell you that. Maybe your cockatoo is missing. I don't mean to disrespect, sir, but you are being a bit of a cockatoo here. I don't even have a cockatoo. And guess what? Cockatoo not missing. Great. Got Wonderful. it. Wonderful. I just watch. Her hands move over the book covers. The tips of her fingers look rough, stained with yellow. It seems like she has spent a lot of time at work smoking. Uh, hang on. Let's I go back to the cockatoo to ones. Respect, sir, but you, I don't even have a cockatoo. And guess what? And what? Even if I had, it wouldn't be missing. All right. Great. We just, that's always skipped. What do you mean by Nothing. me being a cockatoo? Go read up on them if you're so interested. Maybe you should. What if the cockatoo is your astral captain? <laughs> that's exactly. Oh my God. We got a task. Wonderful. The story is open. The woman before you nods and returns to her reading. Agitate your interviewee. I'll just, I'll just bring her down to the station, hold her for 12 hours, deprive her of food, sleep, water. And she'll tell me anything I want to know. Hell, I can probably get her to, to uh, confess to the murder. A sulfur-crested cockatoo sits on the cover. Its beak slightly. Wow, open. I found the right shelf it immediately. The bird is calling out the book title. From A to Zurich, a guide to a well behaved cockatoo. Let's flip through the pages. It turns out that there are so many different cockatoo species, and they all have behavioral problems. Sounds about you right. You don't have behavioral problems. That's garbage. You're cool. You're cool. Turns Flip through the pages. out that there are so you don't Same thing. Behavior. What's this guide about it's a cockatoos? You own a cockatoo. I've heard they're quite capricious. 
Oh man, I kind of want to steal the guide. I don't want to give Plaisance any business. All right, let's just buy it. Nature enthusiast, good choice. Here you go. Now I now I won her favor. Not an option. Thankfully, uh, let's let's read a book about cockatoos, huh? A cockatoo is a parrot with an erectile crest, found on the Seminine Islands and in southern Fas Alamea. Known for their intelligence and general precociousness, cockatoos are popular birds in aviculture. However, they often exhibit various behavioral issues. This book talks about the delicate nature of twos, as well as introducing some of, of the most twos? popular species among the bird enthusiasts. The funeral cockatoo, the major majestic cockatoo, and the most common bang-bang cockatoo. It's colorfully illustrated. Uh, what problems do these birds Where have? Where to even begin? All cockatoos are known for their needy natures, requiring attention for at least two full hours a day. They two hours? Talk, and have been described as lovable clowns who just don't know how to wrap up. Okay. Pet owners also report moodiness, loudness, and hostility as recurring issues. If left unsatisfied, Cockatoos may scream non-stop, pluck their feathers, or become aggressive. Anything it is else? not recommended to get a cockatoo if you're not able to cook them food every day and give them the full care that they need. These birds will never understand that you have a life of your own. There has to be something great about them. You're right. Cockatoos are magnificent creatures. They love to perform, cuddle, and show off, and will even scream for fun often as loud as up to 135 decibels. I had a friend growing up whose uh, dad had a cockatoo. Had a cockatoo and a parrot. Cockatoo was super nice, um, very chill. The parrot was kind of a dick. Ouch, <clears throat> that must hurt. Let's read about the funeral cockatoo. This is a yellow-tailed black cockatoo. Its specific name Sitarchus venereus relates to its dark and somber plumage. This bird looks as if dressed for a funeral. 24-7, there is something indisputably ominous about it. Ooh. Cool. Major Majestic. Perhaps the most impressive of all the species, the endangered Major Majestic Cockatoo is often described as the most flamboyant bird in the jungle. Its pink-colored wings and flowing crest embellishing its proud and bumptious nature. In the words of poet explorer Sir James Fournier, few birds more enliven the monotonous hues of the verdant forest than this big, bold, and beautiful species. Bang Bang Despite Cockatoo. Despite its banging name, the Bang Bang Cockatoo is actually the shyest of the species common in almost all Seminese forests, as well as zoos and homes all over the world. Its plumage is mainly gray and white. The Seminese name, Bang Bang, is thought to be of onomatopoeic origins. That sound a bit yes, like Yes, but all those common <clears throat> two species are so different. Which one are you? Major Majestic, right. uh. Your Majesty embodied. This big, beautiful bird belongs on your heraldry. All right. Found my inner bird. I, I definitely, I think the next step should definitely be to tell the lady who's outside trying to read a book. Um, I'm sure she'll be really happy to know about this. Hi, Miso. You were right that Excuse I'm a cockatoo. Me? I read on them, I just know. like you said. The most talkative one? I'm the major majestic what, cockatoo. Now? It's the most impressive. Are. Why are you chewing on my strings? Aren't you? 
the woman right, see before you All right. and returns to hmm. her reading. I get it. You want food. All right. Yeah, we'll call it there. Every child born on Earth is part Seminese. What are you doing, buddy? Quick save. All right. As long as you're not biting the microphone, you can do that. Stop bet. Stop bet. Stop bet. That's mine. All right. I'm going to call it there. I got to get to work. Thank you guys for hanging out this morning. Got to get this little guy some food. Right? You want food? Do you want some breakfast? I want some breakfast. All right. Give me some butt pats. Let's... You guys have a good rest of your day. We'll continue this tomorrow. We will continue Breath of the Wild this afternoon as well. Yeah, you go smell my coffee. Yeah, have a good Monday, everybody.